Cross stitch. Cross stitch is a form of sewing and a popular form of counted thread embroidery in which X-shaped stitches in a tiled, raster-like pattern are used to form a picture. The stitcher counts the threads on a piece of even weave fabric, such as linen, in each direction so that the stitches are of uniform size and appearance. This form of cross stitch is also called counted cross stitch in order to distinguish it from other forms of cross stitch. Sometimes cross stitch is done on designs printed on the fabric. Stamped cross stitch. The stitcher simply stitches over the printed pattern. Cross stitch is also executed on easily countable fabric called Aida cloth, but the threads are not actually counted. Fabrics used in cross stitch include linen, Aida, and mixed content fabrics called even weave, such as Jobelin. All cross stitch fabrics are technically even weave, as the term refers to the fact that the fabric is woven to make sure that there are the same number of threads in an inch, both the left to right and top to bottom, vertically and horizontally. Fabrics are categorized by threads per inch, referred to as count, which can range from 11 to 40 count. Counted cross stitch projects are worked from a gridded pattern and can be used on any count fabric. The count of the fabric determines the size of the finished edge stitching if the stitchers counts and stitches over two threads. The finished stitching size is reduced by half if the stitcher counts and stitches on a 28 count cross stitch fabric rather than a 14 count cross stitch fabric. Stitchers can also change the size of their piece by stitching over multiple threads. These methods are commonly referred to as 2 over 2 i.e. 2 embroidery threads used to stitch over 2 fabric threads, and 1 over 1 i.e. 1 embroidery thread used to stitch over 1 fabric thread. There are different methods of stitching a pattern, including the cross-country method where one color is stitched at a time, or the parking method where one block of fabric is stitched at a time and the end of the thread is parked at the next point. The semi-color occurs in the pattern. Cross stitch is the oldest form of embroidery and can be found all over the world. Many folk museums show examples of clothing decorated with cross stitch, especially from continental Europe, Asia, and Eastern and Central Europe. The cross stitch sampler is called that because it was generally stitched by a young girl to learn how to stitch and to record alphabet and other patterns to be used in her household sewing. These samples of her stitching could be referred back to over the years. Often, Motifs and initials were stitched on household items to identify their owner, or simply to decorate the otherwise plain cloth. The earliest known cross-stitch sampler made in the United States is currently housed at Pilgrim Hall in Plymouth, Massachusetts. The sampler was created by Laura Standish, daughter of Captain Miles Standish and pioneer of the Leviathan Stitch, circa 1653. Traditionally, cross-stitch was used to embellish items like household linens, tablecloths, dishcloths, and doilies, only a small portion of which would actually be embroidered, such as a border. Although there are many cross-stitchers who still employ it in this fashion, it is now increasingly popular to work the pattern on pieces of fabric and hang them on the wall for decoration. Cross-stitch is also often used to make greeting cards, pillow tops, or as inserts for box tops, coasters and trivets. Multicolored, shaded, painting-like patterns as we know them today are a fairly modern development deriving from similar shaded patterns of Berlin woolwork of the mid-19th century. Besides designs created expressly for cross-stitch, there are software programs that convert a photograph or a fine art image into a chart suitable for stitching. One example of this is in the cross-stitched reproduction of the Sistine Chapel charted and stitched by Joanna Lopianowski roberts There are many cross-stitching guilds and groups across the United States and Europe which offer classes, collaborate on large projects, stitch for charity, and provide other ways for local cross-stitchers to get to know one another. Individually owned local needle workshops, LNS, often have stitching nights at their shops, or host weekend stitching retreats. Today, cotton floss is the most common embroidery thread. It is a thread made of mercerized cotton, composed of six strands that are only loosely twisted together and easily separable. While there are other manufacturers, the two most commonly used, and oldest, brands are DMC and Anchor both of which have been manufacturing embroidery floss since the 1800s. Other materials used are pearl, or pearl, cotton, Danish flower thread, silk and rayon. Different wool threads, metallic threads or other novelty threads aerial so used, sometimes for the whole work, but often for accents and embellishments. Hand-dyed cross-stitch floss is created just as the name implies, it is dyed by hand. Because of this, there are variations in the amount of color throughout the thread. Some variations can be subtle, while some can be a huge contrast. Some also have more than one color per thread, which in the right project, creates amazing results. 
Stitches Cross stitches widely used in traditional Palestinian dressmaking. Other stitches are also often used in cross stitch, among them one quarter, half, and three quarters stitches and back stitches. Cross stitch is often used together with other stitches. A cross stitch can come in a variety of prostational forms. It is sometimes used in cruel embroidery, especially in its more modern derivatives. It is also often used in needlepoint. A specialized historical form of embroidery using cross stitch is a CZ embroidery. There are many stitches which are related to cross stitch and were used in similar ways in earlier times. The best known are Italian cross stitch, Celtic cross stitch, Irish cross stitch, long armed cross stitch, Ukrainian cross stitch, and Montenegrin stitch. Italian cross stitch and Montenegrin stitch are irreversible, meaning the work looks the same on both sides. These styles have a slightly different look than ordinary cross stitch. These more difficult stitches are rarely used in mainstream embroidery, but they are still used to recreate historical pieces of embroidery or by the creative and adventurous stitcher. The double cross stitch, also known as a Leviathan stitch or Smyrna cross stitch, combines a cross stitch with an upright cross stitch. Berlin wool work and similar petty point stitchery resembles the heavily shaded, opulent styles of cross stitch, and sometimes also used charted patterns on paper. Cross stitch is often combined with other popular forms of embroidery, such as hardanger embroidery or blackwork embroidery. Cross stitch may also be combined with other work, such as canvas work or drawn thread work. Beadwork and other embellishments such as paillettes, charms, small buttons and specialty threads of various kinds may also be used. Cross stitch has become increasingly popular with the younger generation of Europe in recent years. Retailers such as John Lewis experienced a 17% rise in sales of haberdashery products between 2009 and 2010. Hobbycraft, a chain of stores selling craft supplies, also enjoyed an 11% increase in sales over the year till February 22, 2009. Knitting and cross-stitching have become more popular hobbies for a younger market, in contrast to its traditional reputation as a hobby for retirees. Sewing and craft groups such as Stitch and Bitch London have resurrected the idea of the traditional craft club. At close July 2010 there was a new area called Sknitch promoting modern sewing, knitting and embroidery. In a departure from the traditional designs associated with cross-stitch, there is a current trend for more postmodern or tongue-in-cheek designs featuring retro images or contemporary sayings. It is linked to a concept known as subversive cross-stitch, which involves more risque designs, often fusing the traditional sample or style with sayings designed to shock or be incongruous with the old-fashioned image of cross-stitch. Stitching designs on other materials can be accomplished by using waste canvas. This is a temporary gridded canvas similar to regular canvas used for embroidery that is held together by water-soluble glue, which is removed after completion of stitch design. Other crafters have taken to cross-stitching on all manner of gridded objects as well including old kitchen strainers or chain-link fences. An increasingly popular activity for cross-stitchers is to watch and make YouTube videos detailing their hobby. Floss tubers, as they are known, typically cover whips, works in progress, foes finished objects, and haul, new patterns, thread, and fabric, as well as cross-stitching accessories, such as needle minders. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.